The group of players you must be delighted with your performance. Yeah, it's a great performance from everybody. You know, went um, went one 0 up. Great goal from Morgan. And you know, we were we were confident coming into this game. We could really sense it that we came here and we wanted to win. Obviously, the timing of the second goal was brilliant. Um, I think I think Jordan was top draw. You know, he kept us in it with some of his best saves. Um, and we defended really well. Obviously, they scored. The amount of times they put it in there, put it in there. You know, they may get one. So. Just a brilliant result to hold out for 2-1. Was the initial plan at Costa Classic away things sit in and try and hit them on the break? I think we came in and we, as I said, we had the confidence to go and try and win the game. So I think we mixed it up well when we were pressing, we either went together and then when we sat in. There was no set plan of what to do. We were just kind of made the decision as a group on the pitch and, you know, it worked. So happy days. And as players, you must be pleased that you've given the manager a response because he's obviously made a lot of changes today mm. and it's worked. Yeah, as I said, the lads that have come in all done well, the lads that kept the place done well. Um, and that's, that's the whole point of a squad, you know, when players come in, you want to be uh, performing well so you can keep your jersey. And that's what makes us better as players. Everybody's on it, wanting to be in the team. It's only better for the group. We see you week in, week out. You obviously with the team week in, week out. We know how important Liam Bridget is, but it was underlined today by his performance, wasn't it? Oh yeah, he's, he's top draw, whether he's on the pitch or off the pitch, um, of what he does for us as a group. And, Especially to have him back, you know, it's massive. As a player, you notice the difference having him on the pitch, whether it's just his communication, his, his game management, everything. So, delighted to have him back. Morgan had an interesting afternoon, a goal and a red card. Yeah, as I said, the, the goal was brilliant from him, great composure. You know, he's worked on it a lot in training. Um, so, as I said, obviously the red card is disappointing for him. But look, I'm, I'm sure he'll bounce back, whatever the decision is, whether it gets overturned or not. But yeah, he done well today and then the red card just unfortunate for him. So talk us through your goal. <laughs> I've got the ball and, you know, a lot of the time this afternoon I was trying to go on the outside and obviously I liked that finish quite a lot, coming inside and hitting it. So once I dropped the shoulder and I knew I had the beating, just stepped inside and, you know, I'd done what I'd been practising and training all the time. So, um, yeah. I'm just delighted to get it. And the manager's been talking about what he's really liked about you in this game is mixing it up. You know, yes, you can cut inside, but also Jamie was making a lot of overlapping runs and you were feeding him as well. Yeah, you know, I think people are seeing that this year, whether I play with Jamie, whether I play with Cohen, that I always like to have a good relationship with my fullback. I think it's important. So, you know, it can be quite, quite a long afternoon if the fullback keeps going around you and you never give him the ball. And a lot of the time, I think the season has worked really well, overlap and play in, which then gives me the space sometimes if I keep playing it and then the next time they drop off it allows me to come inside and shoot so you know just long may the relationships continue. Like, well, be honest with me when the change came up did you think I quite fancy walk around the pitch by the Lincoln fans? Well, yeah I originally said I wanted to jog across and the referee wouldn't let me so I thought I either walk around with my own fans and get a good reception or I get battered by Charlton's fans so <laughs> it's quite, quite an easy choice. Must have been a nice moment though, walking in front of me, what, 1,100 Lincoln fans today with right. that and singing in eight. Yeah, it was brilliant, you know. Delighted to be back in the team today and, you know, the goal topped it off. Um, the main thing was to win, but, you know, to hear the chant from the fans again, yeah, I, I loved it. I really did. A couple of quick questions finally. 13 goals, I think I'm right in saying, yeah. season nine in the league? Yeah, 13 goals, yeah. Hopefully, you know, we pick up the wins that we need to, to stay in the division. You know, that's, that's the main aim for everybody. And if I can get a couple more goals along the way, that'd be brilliant. What about your injury situation? I know you had an injection in the knee last week. How is it? Yeah, absolutely fine. You know, I had obviously, I was out for a couple of months at the start of the year, from the start of the year, towards the end of the year. Um, and then we just decided that because we had no midweek game, the best decision was to do to get another little one just to kind of nip it all in the bud. So come towards the end of the season, I'm as fresh as I can be. And for the start of next year, I'm as fresh as I can be, so it was the right decision. And finally, 45 points, if I'm right in my maths now, you're nearly there, aren't you, as a team? Um, I think that, you know, I think it's easy to think that when you're not actually in it. Yeah. As a group, we, we don't think that, you know, it's important that we get as many wins as we can to stop the relegation as quick as we can. You know, we want to win on Tuesday night and go again next week and get another win. So I think just focus on getting as many wins as we can um, and just try and get us away from that relegation battle, not to get sucked into it.